Welcome back guys to another video of the FS Knight kind of construction series. So as you can see um, to the left over here there's a giant pile of salt. So we have a friend in the area who lives all the way up there in a nice house that says he just wants us to spread some salt around and he says I know you got a skid steer and it might not be the easiest way but hey I'll pay a, pay a decent amount so just start dumping some salt for me and we can go from there. Man, not looking up too good right now for all this salt must be pretty heavy but so let's let's start spreading some salt salt is pretty heavy dang so no he's since he lives up on that hill he's just kinda a little bit concerned that he might start slipping and he knows anything to do with himself and since we've been friends so let's start spreading some 19 is being really loud. Start dumping. There we go. We don't need like a full layer of it either. We just need some salt that's just getting dumped. So we we'll probably might have to. That's looking good. Good, nice little healthy patch. Just enough so where it won't really be too dangerous for him to be doing all that stuff. But yeah, so he's got a nice little house up there and a little shed. We might have to take a tour of it in a little bit. Not too bad. Just pouring some salt. Nice easy payday for us. Nice. I've been trying to make some more FS22 videos, but just that game and my PC has not been working well together. It just seems like uh keeps bugging out all the time or starts freezing on me, so I don't know what I should do at that moment. I might need to adjust some of my settings and go from there. But yeah, so we are playing on this is Ireland, I believe that's what the map is called. And it's a pretty cool map. I haven't I just found it the other day. Figured a better play it, just kinda expand it and looks look looked pretty cool, so that's Oh, come on, come on. Can we get out of this? Let's see. There we go. Just need to empty the bucket a little bit. Yeah, it's uh my, this friend definitely he's got some He's definitely got some cash on him because look how much road salt he bought and brought in, which just looks like a ton. That looks like enough to probably cover the whole city. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a big path going up there right away just so we get this right side covered. We can go from there. I probably could run over it and pour it, maybe go a little bit faster that way, but I think we might just uh, do some pouring. That's a little bit of a heavy pour there. So we're going to... may I think this might be a little bit better. Yep, this is better. We were doing a little bit too heavy there, but... It's okay. A little extra cushion there, right? I know he said uh, he does plan on getting some livestock. So some cattle. Maybe some chickens and pigs. Because he's got all this property that he just moved into. And doesn't really have too much equipment. So might have to see if we can help him. Go equipment shopping one day. And see what uh, he ends up wanting. So there's a pretty nice dealership in town here, so I know they carry all sorts of stuff. He said too he'd probably like to get a wheel loader, which would pr be pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, have you guys been playing Farming Sim 22 or 19 more, or what have you guys been playing, and what would you like me to play some more of? And I'm definitely open, so uh, just list those down below in the comments. And definitely pretty interested to see what you guys have been up to. Salt is pretty heavy. Good thing we get a nice 333G. I know this bucket has been modded to hold, I think, 5,000 capacity, so it definitely pushes the equipment to its limit, but does a pretty good job I know one of these days it would be nice to uh, in this construction series to upgrade to a nice wheel loader that'd be pretty sweet I don't know if we have the hauling capabilities for it yet but it would definitely be pretty cool so I know they have a 524 K in the game John Deere which is pretty awesome but they also do have some other bigger loaders which would be cool 
Man, this is going to be quite a hike. Let me see if I can call up the equipment dealer and see if I can rent out a wheel loader for the day. Because now that you guys got me thinking about that, things kind of... This kid's here, I mean, it's pretty cool, but it is kind of struggling to get up the hill, so... And I know the bucket capacity on the... Like right now, oh my goodness, it's really... Really struggling. Let me dump this and then I will probably, uh... Oh, jeez. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> come on, you can do it. There we go, got a little bit there, have to stop this rolling. Now that we got a little bit more weight out, it should be easier to go up the hill. Let's see. Yes, it is. So, let me finish pouring this trail of salt, and then we'll reach out to and see if we can rent or demo the piece of equipment for the day. And who knows, maybe, oh no, oh no. <laughs> this, this steep part of the hill is really testing our uh, 333 right now. There we go. Get some nice, easy, easy trail going. Can't have any slippage on this hill. So, yep, that's his nice property right there. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's haul on down this hill, and I will be back with you guys shortly. Hopefully, we can get a wheel loader rented and go from there. All right, so we are back, and look what we are in. A nice 524K with the high lift boom. Um, so I talked with the dealership, and they said they'd deliver it, and we can rent it for a week because that's just how the rates are. But, man, look at this thing pretty nice and cool and they didn't deliver it fully to the house just because of it's uh in the house it's a little bit difficult to I guess turn into because it's a little bit smaller a little pathway but man look how nice this is whoever made this did a really good job and see if we can get on out of here oh so yeah it's a pretty nice machine and I know this bucket capacity they said it can hold I think it's 10,600 capacity so that will definitely make it a little easier and this machine is definitely faster and should have higher horsepower to make it up the hill and make this a lot easier project but yeah you'll see what I mean about this uh, tight little turn here they said they just didn't really feel like doing that and I said okay no problem oh Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, that's not good. Can't fully handle the 10,000. Oh jeez. Damn, that's kind of disappointing. Is it? What? I wonder how much is actually in the bucket right now because it doesn't look like we have much. It's quite interesting. Let me give this uh, guy a call and see if we might be able to get a smaller capacity bucket. Maybe something that's a little bit less, I guess you could say, just because of that full 10,000. But let's see actually how this does. I might just have to go at half capacity and see this 524 should be doing this with no problem but I guess I don't know how much capacity is in it right now but it doesn't look like it's too much or was too much when we were getting it yeah, it does seem to be having a decent amount surprisingly but this thing's doing pretty good pretty happy with it yeah whatever amount we had it probably wasn't I don't know how much it was but it didn't look like it's too full but yeah we, we might be able to do this I mean it didn't look like it was too full but we were able to do what probably took probably like three or four scoops with the 333 who knows maybe since we're renting this and it's maybe been rented down a little bit we might be able to make a deal with it on this guy but see if they can 
see what the capacity is and what they can do. Oh, oh no! I wonder if we were to put some dual tires on this, if that would make it easier. What do you guys think? Oh man, we can't even turn. Start dumping, there we go. There we go, this seems to be doing a little bit better, so. I had to go back more in the middle because it seems like I've definitely had some gap spots. So we're just going to make sure that it should be pretty good, decently salted. I mean, this looks like it's definitely overkill and it will definitely be really good. And I don't think the ice will stand a chance here. But we just want him to make sure he's pretty happy with it. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I need to see, might have to talk to the dealership after this, after we're done filming today, and see what the price of this is and what it would cost and all that stuff. And maybe if there's any way we can put some counterweights on this thing, because it'd be nice to lift up the 10,600 capacity. Because I don't know what the full amount would technically be for what this thing can lift. But I don't want something that's super close to the track loader, because then I might as well just use the track loader, you know? But the benefit this does have is it is it is a lot faster than the track loader, but with these capacities it might be a little bit slower. There we go. Spread it out here. I know this might not be the most interesting episode, but it is a little bit something in the different different category category I guess so oh man the art articulation really got me there so yeah pretty this thing in first person is awesome let's see here oh yeah look at this bad baby go definitely gonna have to scoop it back into the middle and adjust some stuff here but going pretty well so far hope you guys are liking it how nice this interior is though this thing is so accurate too in real life it's just crazy thing only got one hour or point one hour on it dang pretty new and pretty fresh I guess don't know if we'll be buying this one but who knows maybe might be able to finance it with a really good rate oh damn it start dumping oh no 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 articulation no Oh shit. We're really struggling right now, man. This thing needs some counterweight on it or something. Okay, there we go. Looks like we may have dumped a decent enough out there that we're able to get moving. Still turn. Oh, geez. This thing really wants to lift on up. Oh, my goodness. you guys are enjoying the struggle. I thought this thing would have been able to his lifting capacity, but maybe in a in the future I'll have to completely test his lifting capacity and see what it can do cuz it doesn't I don't know how full this bucket is, but it definitely does not work well with this bucket. I mean, this isn't a small loader by any means either. It's not the biggest, but 
it should be able to manage this amount of salt you'd think but so I guess you'll have to, we'll have to see here oh my goodness okay there we go now we will be on it hopefully should be good to go so go up here hope the friend likes all the salt we're putting down all right so um, we talked to the dealer bucket that hopefully should be more bucket is his capacity is like 6200 so let's hope this <laughs> this bad boy can lift this fully up without have oh oh no please come on you can do it a oh, little bit of Come on, start dumping. There we go. Yeah, so um, the dealership over here has been pretty good to us. I know they've been good, and they seem like they have a decent amount of equipment usually, even in these tough times. But I know I definitely would like to try out some of, maybe some other skids here. I know I've always been loyal to deer, but... It'd also be nice just to try out some other ones so maybe in the upcoming videos we will definitely probably be using some, maybe some more of the Kubota the maybe some Bobcats and maybe some Case and I guess we'll have to see I don't plan on using the New Hollands at all it'd be cool if they added the uh, I think they're called like AS, ASVs I know those are mainly for like forestry and stuff but it'd definitely be a pretty cool thing to try out and use and who knows, we might need to uh, edit the specs of this 524 modding it. And I know it says this thing only has 89 horsepower, but I don't... I think it's definitely got to have more than 89. Because I think the 344L loader John Deere makes has like a... Oof, what was that? Damn it. Um, I think that might have 100. Maybe? I don't know. I might have my specs completely wrong, but... Yep, so we are cruising. Got the nice radio on. Look at this nice view. Yeah, the visibility in this thing is also really good, so pretty cool. I love this little monitor, though. That thing is so accurate, and you got the active RPMs with active hours, and I guess the time, too. It says 11.54. I haven't looked at the joystick yet, so I'll have to see if the, yeah, no, the joystick doesn't move, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone's going to be slipping down this for a long time. Um, maybe lightly. Oh, shit. Ow! Uh, we might lightly salt a little bit. I know it's a little weak on this side, but... At the same time, I don't know if we exactly need... Oh, come on. There we go. Too much, because I know he's definitely got a solid path here. And we need to salt up here. This video is leading on a little bit because we did have some bucket capacity issues with this, but I'm definitely going to take a look at the specs of this and make sure everything's right and see if I can... Oh, damn it. Stop dumping there. That's not good. Alright, so I will catch back with you guys once we get this top part fully salted. Alright, so we have salted that top part as well and uh, talked with the owner and he said everything is looking good. So I think that will wrap it up for today's video. So please like and subscribe and uh, I'm not sure why his house is showing up. Maybe teleported it or something. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching and if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you. Bye.